Good morning. Welcome to the South Carolina FFA State Legislators Appreciation Ceremony. I'm Gracie Helms, State FFA President and former member of Central FFA Chapter. We are gathered here today to not only celebrate FFA Week, but our legislators who support FFA and agriculture education. I want to start by introducing the 2020 to 2021 State FFA Officer Team. Gunnar Black, State Secretary from the York Chapter. Ashlyn Patterson, State Vice President from the Seneca Chapter. Addison Lyles, State Vice President from the West Oak Chapter. Lee Pageant, State Vice President from the Pillion Chapter. Victoria Gillis, State Vice President from the Lexington Technology Center Chapter. We want to provide an opportunity to show our shared love of agriculture and to share our stories. A statement that I live by every day states, in this very moment, you hold the power to change someone else's life. Go and do it. Today, we can have an impact on what the future holds. FFA members, we put on this jacket we have in our possession, a piece of history, a sight of the present and a hint into the future. What we do in our blue jackets will impact the future generations of FFA members, farmers, and other agriculturalists. Whether your passion was found on your first day in ag class, a state convention, or anywhere in between, that was where our unity began. This is where we decided that we wanted to make a difference. The impressions that we have will eventually fade, but the memories made and the impact left will stay forever. Each time we zip up our blue corduroy, we are continuing our journey and expressing that we are the future of agriculture. Our job as FFA members is to be that change showing that the future of agriculture is in good hands by telling our story and sharing our experiences. We all have a story to tell, whether we grew up on a fifth generation farm, the outskirts of a city, or in a housing community downtown. If you don't share your story, then who else will? When you put on this jacket, we hope that you feel a sense of pride that comes with the organization, its future, and what it represents. Today, we are here celebrating the continuous support from our legislators during National FFA Week, the highlight of the year for thousands of FFA members across this great nation. In 1947, the National FFA Board of Directors designated the Saturday to Saturday of President George Washington's birthday to be National FFA Week, recognizing Washington's legacy as being an agriculturalist and farmer. So on behalf of the state officer team, we would like to welcome you to the 2021 Legislators Appreciation Ceremony on behalf of the South Carolina FFA Association. It is a great honor to introduce our first speaker, Governor Henry McMaster. Governor McMaster became the 117th Governor of South Carolina on January 24, 2017. He has served as the first U.S. Attorney appointed by President Ronald Reagan. He has since served as Lieutenant Governor, President of the South Carolina State Senate, and Chairman of the South Carolina Republican Party. He is also a recipient of the Order of Palmetto, which is the highest civilian honor in the state. Governor McMaster received his AB degree in history from the U USC and his JD degree from the University of South Carolina School of Law. He later served in the U.S. Army Reserves in the JAG Corps. Governor McMaster is married to Peggy McMaster and has two children. It is my honor to introduce Governor Henry McMaster. Hello, I'm Henry McMaster, Governor of South Carolina, and I'm very happy to be with you today to speak about our farmers and agriculture. It is our agricultural strength that makes our nation strong. Without it, we would not be strong in the world and our agricultural strength here in South Carolina is second to none. And that's why this is so important. And I've issued a proclamation in this respect, and it says as follows. State of South Carolina, Governor's Proclamation, whereas the FFA, originally known as the Future Farmers of America, is a national agricultural organization consisting of over 760,000 students enrolled in agricultural education courses in secondary schools, technical colleges, and universities throughout the nation. And whereas FFA members set a positive example for their peers through leadership skills, work ethic, excellence in academics, patriotism, and community service. And whereas FFA members are preparing for more than 300 exciting and rewarding career opportunities in the science, business, or technology of agriculture, which is a leading industry in the Palmetto State and in the nation. 
And whereas South Carolina FFA members are recognized for their success in and promotion of agricultural education, natural resource conservation, and healthy living at the local, state, national, and international levels. Now therefore, I, Henry McMaster, governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim February 20th through 27th, 2021, as FFA Week throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to recognize and appreciate the many contributions of the FFA to our agricultural industry through successful educational programs, leadership, and service. And I will now sign the document. And it is official. And there you go. And thank you. I'm proud to be here with you in this way today. Thank you. I am honored to introduce the next person for comments, Superintendent of Education, Dr. Molly Spearman. Superintendent Spearman has spent her entire career and personal life preparing her for the role of leading the state's public education system. Growing up on a dairy farm in the rolling hills of Saluda County and graduating from the rural Hollywood High School, she learned the importance of hard work and an appreciation of the skill set needed for a successful career. For over 18 years, she served as a classroom music teacher and an assistant principal. She was elected to four terms as a member of the South Carolina House of Representatives, representing Saluda County and portions of Lexington County. Her priorities as superintendent of education ensure school safety and a system of instruction that will prepare every graduate for a successful life after high school. The foundation for that instruction is effective classroom teachers and principals who facilitate personalized learning for every student every day. FFA members, the superintendent of education, Dr. Molly Spearman. Hello, South Carolina FFA. It's so nice to be with you. I wish we could be in person, but virtual is the next best thing. This is always one of my favorite days to get to see FFA members from across South Carolina come to our state house to say thank you to our state legislators for the support that they give you. That's really an important lesson to say thank you to public servants. And I'm so proud of you for participating we need to say thank you, and we need to recognize that the people who serve are our neighbors. Sometimes we disagree with them, but I know that you learn during your FFA program that we can have disagreements and still be very civil with each other. So congratulations. Thank you for recognizing the members of our General Assembly. A special congratulation to your officers and President Gracie Helms. Gracie, I see that you've set some goals for yourself, and one of them is to be the United States Secretary of Education. I hope you meet that goal, and I really hope along the way you might even add South Carolina State Superintendent of Education. We need good people to offer for public service, and I would encourage all of you, as you finish your high school career, go on to college, career, and citizenship, that you consider offering yourself for public office, whether it's at the local school board level or state general assembly or whatever it may be, but that you think about giving back to your community by serving as a public elected official. FFA is a great example of what we have set as a mission for every student in South Carolina. We call it the profile of the South Carolina graduate. And our goal is that when a student graduates, walks across the stage to receive their South Carolina diploma, that they are prepared for success in college, career, and citizenship. FFA is helping you reach that goal, not just in the fantastic content areas of agriculture and public service, but also in your growth in giving back to your community through your projects, but in helping and demonstrating great public speaking ability and learning parliamentary procedure, all of the things that make us better citizens. 
So I congratulate you on being a part of FFA. Thank you particularly to your leaders, the adults who work with you and sponsor and support you in every activity. I was a member of FHA many years ago, Future Homemakers of America. At that time, girls were not allowed to join FFA. We've come a long way, and FFA has come a long way, and it is one of the most outstanding youth organizations in our country and our state. Keep it going strong. Take care of yourself. Have a wonderful day today and a great school year, and God bless you in the future. Thank you, Superintendent Spearman. It is my pleasure to introduce to you a true leader for South Carolina agriculture, Commissioner Hugh Weathers. Commissioner Weathers has been serving as South Carolina's Commissioner of Agriculture since September 2004. Under Commissioner Weathers' leadership, the department has created the Certified SC Grown Branding Program to help consumers easily identify and purchase South Carolina products. Commissioner Weathers was born in Bowman, South Carolina and is a fourth generation farmer. He graduated magna cum laude from the University of South Carolina, earning a BS degree in accounting and finance. He is a partner in his family's 80-year-old dairy business and row crop farm. He is married to Blanche Grambling Weathers, who grew up on her family's peach farm in Spartanburg County. Commissioner Weathers is a former president of the South Carolina Young Farmer and Agribusiness Association, a recipient of the Honorary American FFA degree, and a great supporter of South Carolina FFA. Please welcome Commissioner Hugh Weathers. Good morning, and thank you for attending the FFA virtual day here at the State House. Um, it's unfortunate, once again, that we're not able to do an event that we enjoy so much. It is a day that as Commissioner of Agriculture, I'm very proud when all of you are here sending a message about the future of agriculture with the great brand that, you, that the FFA is. Probably about this time, some of you would be right here. The state officers would be here in my office and we get a, a chance to know each other a little bit better with the questions that you have. I'd learn a little bit more about you and I've enjoyed those times as well. But I do want to thank those of you who are involved in the management of our state chapters for what you're doing in the development of young people's lives. I have watched and seen that development uh, happen in people's skill sets and whatnot. I think that will benefit them throughout their life and the network that they're making and the friends that they're making, all of these things that are so important to a successful career. The reason I'm excited about it because it speaks to the future of our industry. Those of you who will have a, a life's career in agriculture, uh, we look forward to your leadership. Uh, you'll look back on the FFA as a vital part of helping mold you for that leadership position. So that's why I'm especially uh, just proud to be associated with the FFA. You know, let's hope that pretty soon our world gets back to normal and we can resume some of the things that we enjoy doing face to face. But in the meanwhile, let's all uh, stay safe. Uh, pray that the vaccine is effective and that we all get it. Uh, the vaccine and, and uh, this pandemic uh, will subside in some ways. So again, thank you for uh, letting me visit with you. Hope to see as many of it of you as I can, as soon as I can. So again, uh, glad it's a great day for the FFA, even if it's virtual. Thank you, Commissioner Weathers. It is my pleasure to introduce a true leader for South Carolina agriculture, Senator Wes Clymer, a businessman from Rock Hill. Senator Clymer graduated with a bachelor's degree from Furman University. He has served on numerous boards ranging from the Palmetto Boy Scouts and at the Palmetto School at the Children's Attention Home. Senator Clymer currently represents South Carolina Senate District 15, York County. He has been married to his wife, Marty, for the past 12 years and has four children. FFA members, I am honored to present you the Honorable Wes Clymer, Chairman of the Senate Agricultural and Natural Resources Committee for comments. Hello, FFA. This is Wes Clymer. I'm the chairman of the Senate Agriculture Committee. And uh, hey, I can't be with you this year, but wanted to thank you for the wonderful work you do as part of FFA. My wife, Marty, uh, grew up in FFA. I know what an incredible organization it is, and I look forward to being able to visit with you personally uh, sometime in the near future. 
Again, thank you for all you do, and don't hesitate to give us a call over here in the Senate if there's anything we can do to help you. Thank you, Senator Clymer. I'm thrilled to introduce to you the Honorable David R. Hyatt, a businessman from Pickens County. Representative Hyatt is married to Ms. Lisa Clamp Hyatt, and they have two children, Lander Douglas and Sally Elizabeth. Representative Hyatt has a BA from Central Wesleyan College. He is a past member of the Pickens County YMCA Board of Directors, a Pickens Rotary Club member, and is a deacon at Pickens First Baptist Church. FFA members, I am honored to present to you the Chairman of the House Agricultural and Natural Resources Committee, Honorable David R. Hyatt, for comments. Okay. Good morning. Unusual circumstances this year. I miss seeing all those blue-coated individuals, young men and young women standing on the State House steps. But we all know we're living in different times and difficult times and hope all of you out there are staying well and look forward to seeing you again next year. But again, even though we're not out to gather together on the State House steps, I'd like to say thank you for what you do. It means a lot to know that there's, there's future farmers, there's people coming up behind us that are, that are willing to to be the next generation of those that provide food for us. And we all know how important that's gonna be in the, in the world that we live in. We live in a, in a, a, a world that uh, it's closer than it's ever been. And so we need to make sure that the United States of America is, is well represented and, and can feed their own people and can provide for their own people like never before. And you folks will be doing that for generations to come. So today I wanna to say thank you from the, South Carolina House of Representatives. And I have this privilege as I do every year to present the proclamation to each and every one of you. And so I'm gonna read it today and just say thank you, even though we're not together in person, know that we, everyone here at the State House supports you. And you have, we have, our doors are open. We look forward to having you back and we look forward to seeing you again and what you're gonna accomplish in life. If we can ever help you, please let us know. A concurrent resolution to recognize and, com and commend South Carolina FFA members, formerly known as the Future Farmers of America, and all who support, promote, and encourage these outstanding students of agricultural education and to join them in observance of a National FFA Week, February 20th through 27th, 2021. Whereas the FFA is a national organization of over 550,000 students, of agricultural education in secondary schools, technical colleges, and universities with chapters in all 50 states, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. And whereas FFA members upon graduating from high school prepared for one or more than 300 career opportunities available in the science, business, and technology of agriculture. And whereas South Carolina FFA members are recognized nationally for their quality agricultural training, leadership abilities, academic achievements, and community service, and whereas South Carolina's agricultural educators are known and respected throughout the nation for their exemplary leadership in planning and implementing superb programs on behalf of FFA members, and whereas the FFA organization is dedicated to making a positive difference in the lives of its members by developing their potential for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success through agricultural education, now therefore be resolved by the House of Representatives, the Senate concurring, that the members of the General Assembly, by this resolution, recognize and commend South Carolina's FFA members, formerly known as Future Farmers of America, and all who support, promote, and encourage these outstanding students of agricultural education, and join them in observance of National FFA Week, February 20th through 27th, 2021, be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be forwarded to the appropriate FFA officials in South Carolina. It's signed on February 24, 2021, by Speaker Jay Lucas and Charles F. Reed, Clerk of the House. Again, I say thank you, not only to the students, but to the teachers, the leaders, the parents, all those that have a part in making FFA the great organization that it is. God bless. To our supporters, thank you for making the 2021 South Carolina FFA Legislators Appreciation Ceremony a great success. And to our South Carolina FFA members, we would like to see you all later this spring and summer at our many virtual events. I now declare this meeting adjourned.